So you have daytime valet services now as well? We would have valet. Yeah, uh, I'd like to let our parking expert speak to that, Mr. Daniel Butts. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Daniel Butts, 120 West Ridgeway. Right I'm also with the um, <coughs> applicant. Um, so, as far as daytime parking, period, um, as it relates to restaurant, any restaurant that would be potentially granted would be uh, handled via valet. So, to the extent that we had a restaurant that wanted to open with limited seats, we would be providing a valet service at all times during those times. In fact, we're going to provide valet at all times when they're open anyway. So if, if, if they were approved to utilize some of those spaces during lunch, we would run valet. The valet would have access to the garage to then those minimum of 25 spaces that would be available to put those cars in. Um, in our developer's agreement, and we would have a management strategy whereby we would identify those spaces that are um, available for the valet during those times. Uh, if they're not open and they're not in valet use, they would be first come spaces, but they could be seg segregated. Was your question specifically towards the restaurant? Yes, because um, one of the other concerns I would have is currently the valet services that are offered in the evening basically take up both sides of New England, um, adjacent to Lumas as well as adjacent to that open parking lot mm -hmm. currently. So how is it queued during the business day when those spaces adjacent to Lumas are open for three-hour parking to anyone, as well as adjacent to Tom's Suites or whatever. The yeah. Shopping shopping. So, so great question. There's there's different ways that you can set up the valet to stage. I know in the evening when they have the ability to, they reserve off some spaces next to Luma and then they stage both <coughs> across the street. That's not necessary, and particularly wouldn't be practical during the day when you mentioned those spaces would be in use. Uh, one of the uh, identified opportunities for a valet operation, particularly one that runs during the day, would be to take the loading zone, where that ends up being, whether it exists where it is today or whether we work with staff to, to, to move it. Um, the thinking would be to, to have the times for loading zone, they would be loading zone, and then at the conclusion of the loading zone, it would revert to either public parking or to a valet station area. 